Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering psoriasis. Now, before we get started, as always, I'm going to ask you to please support me and support this channel. You can do that by liking this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up now so you don't forget. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget, I'm now offering next generation NCLEX review sessions and one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. I book very quickly, so don't be surprised if you go to the calendar and it's booked, but I keep opening up uh, the calendar for more more dates as um, I have availability, so if you don't see what you need immediately, keep going back to check, and while you're there, while you're at the website, don't forget to check out the audio lessons that I have available. The website is nexusnursinginstitute.com. Something else to keep in mind, you can find me covering a variety of nursing topics across my other social media platforms, not just here. You can check me out out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All right, guys, without any further ado, let's get started. And we're going to be right here. See where it says psoriasis? So it says psoriasis, and it says psoriasis is an autoimmune disease. This is very important. You need to understand that basically this person's own body is attacking itself. It's an autoimmune disorder. So let me explain to you what's happening in psoriasis. In psoriasis, the um, epidermis, those cells, are regenerating over time. And so what happens is you have a um, um, a buildup of those cells and they start to form what we know as plaques. I want you to take a look at this photo. Look at this. You see how the, the, they look like silvery scales, plaques, by the way. Whenever you see silvery scales, I want your mind to go to psoriasis because most of the time that's what they're talking about. So what happens is these um, cells are reg regenerating at just, an accelerated rate, <clears throat> excuse me, they clump up together and they build up these scales or plaques. Let's take a look at what it says about diagnosis. It says diagnosis is often based on the skin's appearance. Take a look at this. You can't miss it. Look at these silvery scales. So just seeing this, you usually, you can tell, okay, the person's got psoriasis. It says lesions are distinctive. That means as soon as you see it, you know what you're looking at. They're distinctive and they appear as red scaling papules that merge to form plaques. The affected area is normally rounded with adherent silver scales. Again, if you see silver scales or you see silver plaques, most likely psoriasis, this is what they're talking about. Let's see if there's anything here I want to talk to you about. Nope, let's move on to this. We're right here where it says psoriasis. So again, this is an autoimmune disorder. This is chronic. The, the, the body is actually just attacking itself. It says autoimmune chronic dermatitis that involves excessively rapid turnover of the epidermal cells. Um, risk factors, there is, genetically speaking, there is family predisposition. And we usually see this, this develops between about, I want to say around like uh, uh 15 to 22, I don't want to be mistaken. Let me go back and look. I think they give the age group 15 to 35, excuse me, 15 to 35. So we usually see this around 15, the ages, excuse me, 15 to 35. We definitely see this develop before the age of 40. Clinical manifestations. I put a star here. That means you need to know it. Look, sharply demarcated again, silvery scaling plaques. When you see silver and scale or you see silver and plaque, I want you to automatically think of psoriasis. It's commonly seen on the scalp, elbows, knees, palms, soles, fingernails. It can cause itching, burning, pain. Something important that I want to note though, because uh, lots of nursing questions will ask you about this if they're talking about psoriasis, they'll question you to see if you know if it's contagious or not. It is not contagious. And so you have to teach that to the patient. And, you know, this is something that is very discomforting to the patient that has it because, you know, people see it and they get scared. They don't know what it is and they they, they might be afraid that it's contagious. So you, that's one of the things that you have to teach the patient. This is an autoimmune disorder and it's not contagious. Um, treatment. Usually this is what they're going to do, what you see right here, topical treatments. Patient's going to get cortical steroids. You know, steroids decrease inflammation. They may uh, use tar, uh, silicic acid, and systemic treatments. There are also systemic treatments. You see the list. Now, the thing with systemic treatments, they don't even try to do systemic treatments until um, they've exhausted the options for topical treatments. 
Okay, so we're always going to go from least invasive to most invasive. So that patient that's diagnosed with psoriasis, you expect them to be ordered things such as topical uh, steroids first. And after those topical uh, treatments um, have been exhausted and hasn't worked, then that's usually when they'll move up to the systemic treatments. And guys, that is your psoriasis in a nutshell. That is like the most important things you guys need to know regarding psoriasis. I know it was a short video, but I'm not about the fluff. I'm only gonna give you the most important things that you need to know. So that's it. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover next or maybe more extensively and what format you'd like to see me cover. Do you want to see it in a Kahoot or a lecture like this one or a question? question answer format, such as my videos that are released on Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget, guys, you can find me at Nexus Nursing across my other social media platforms, such as TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. You can reserve your spot right now for next generation NCLEX review or a private tutoring session or a consultation session. Maybe there's something going on. You just need a consult in regards to nursing. I offer those as well. You can uh, reserve your spot right now by going to nexusnursinginstitute.com. While you're there, be sure to check out the audio lessons that I have available. Thank you so much for watching this video and you guys will catch me on the next video.